Hello, my name is Esteban Gonzalez. I've been a massage therapist for 20 years. And in this video, I'll be demonstrating a short back massage routine focusing on slow, deep myofascial work with the palm of my hand and my forearm as the main tool. Let's jump right in. In today's back routine demonstration, I will be using a variety of massage techniques. First, to warm up the area, I want to focus on the connective tissue so it's broad, slow strokes, myofascial release type strokes. In this case, it's a long stroke and the weight is all in the palm of my hand and I am slowly moving, feeling the connective tissue underneath begin to shift and open and warm up. My shoulder remains over the palm of my hand and my wrist to maintain pressure throughout the entire stroke. And I bend the elbow there and lean into the bent elbow to add pressure. Transitioning to my forearms, it is important to note that it's forearms and not elbow. In this case, I will be using my forearms as if it were my broad hand. And so I'm looking to use the meatiest part of my form and as broad of a stroke as I possibly can. And so it will be slow strokes but because it's such a broad stroke, I can put quite a bit of weight into it and deep tissue work with this style of technique. The elbow should remain at a 90 degree and the shoulders should be over the elbows as much as possible for continuity of pressure throughout the stroke. And this is going up the erectors now, starting at the uh, sacrum just above, and then slowly working my way up to the upper trap and the levator scapula. Again, a very broad stroke. You can see the 90 degree angle. The hand is low to the table and to the client. And then I lift up to use the elbow slightly, just over the superior angle of the scapula there. And transitioning back, I will focus on the latissimus dorsi. Bring the arm off the table so that we can begin to focus on the tricep group. It's a great way to treat the tricep with the arm hanging off. I like to put the other hand underneath just to support the bicep from being crushed into the table. And that was a nice way to, again, work the lateral border of the scapula, the latissimus dorsi. And as I hang the arm off the front of the table, now that really opens up that entire side. It's more of a stretch position. So as I'm doing these deeper weighted, broad myofascial style strokes with the forearm, it really adds a stretching element to it with the arm off the table. So going very slow is important um, in this particular area with the arm hanging off the table like this. Now I'm pinning and then moving in a myofascial technique down towards sacrum and the iliac crest and then turning my hand so that I can apply weight onto the iliac, onto the hips and slowly come off the table. Now transitioning to work the lower erectors and quadratus lumborum, the QL. You can slide your fingers underneath the erector group there and feel the transverse processes. 
and it's a nice area to just do some gentle cross fiber friction and now focusing back on the erector group this is a just a simple weighted stripping starting at the base and working my way up towards the head and shoulder it's a supported thumb, so two-handed stroke, so that you can really support the thumb and the shoulder follows the hand, so the angle of the wrist remains correct. Pressure goes into the thumb, straight thumb. The wrist is straight, coming from the shoulder. back to the broad stroke. So I do like to start broad and really open up the connective tissue and then get specific, transition back to broad strokes. And now specific work again along the latissimus dorsi, the serratus posterior inferior, and the intercostals along the ribs. It's a great way to treat uh, the rib muscles as well. Some final stretching and myofascial techniques as I transition to bring the arm back up. A little mobilization here. And now beginning to focus on the medial border of the scapula, the trapezius, and the rhomboids. This is going to be a little bit of focus specifically on infraspinatus starting with broad myofascial type of technique and then becoming more specific with my thumbs just under the spine of the scapula and then making my way down the scapula and then from here with the elbow out slightly on the table you can find the lateral border of the scapula and begin to work all of the muscles on that side, the latissimus dorsi, teres major and minor. So I slide my hand underneath the anterior angle of the shoulder there, um, just to be able to lift the shoulder up. It gives me more um, control over the shoulder and the scapula, I can just gently lift up and slide underneath the scapula quite easily. And again, all of this is focused now on the medial border of the scapula. A little bit of mobility work. compression and mobility. It's going back to the trapezius and the rhomboids specifically. back to a broad myofascial palm stroke. This one is following the scapula onto the ribs. So you're curving away around the inferior angle of the scapula onto the ribs and off the table. And then I bend the elbow here anytime I'm focusing on the upper trap so that the pressure can be consistent and coming from the weight of my body directly straight uh, onto that muscle group. Starting directly uh, just off the spine there, um, heading out, so levator, and then now looking for the laminar groove and a little bit of cross fiber friction, a little bit of rotation. This is a really effective way to open up 
the laminate groove area. Now as you lift the client's arm on their back, you automatically get the scapula to raise up and not everyone is the same. And this particular client, it lifts it up quite nicely so you can get underneath the scapula quite easily. It's just some gentle, slow friction, cross fiber friction. And that will be wrapping this demonstration up for today. We'll just do a little bit of levator scapula and then make nice around the neck with just a real nice gentle petrissage to finish here. Hope you enjoyed watching that today. Thank you so much for watching today. If you found that content valuable, please consider subscribing. As always, any questions you have, leave those in the comments down below. Stay healthy, stay strong, and I'll see you next time.